All right, welcome back to a brand new video. And in today's video, we are going to review Chase Elliott's number 24 I Racing Charlotte win for GMS Racing and Chevrolet. Oh, I don't know if this is in the liquid color. No, it isn't. It's the standard version. You can't tell, though, because it looks exactly the same. So let's open this up and see what we got. We know what we got. I need a better outro. I need a better outro. Never mind. And I really haven't seen any videos on this, but oh my goodness, there's a lot of dirt on this. Like, racing dirt, of course. Um, I believe this is also the first time I've actually reviewed a truck with the new molding. Actually, this one does have it. I guess they do. I feel like the first time reason some of the trucks didn't have the molding right. But, um, yeah, very dirty. Decal kind of messed up actually on the back here. It's like, I don't know. It, it's like, you feel kind of where the decal is. Like, right here, I can feel this decal. You can always kind of see the line is there. Uh some other stuff like that uh, of course there's two versions of this truck made they had this version which is the standard version and they also made a liquid color for some reason uh which didn't have any like real change with it i guess you could say it was like it was the same thing we were just a bit glossy or white but it is a beautiful die cast nonetheless here um again i wish we would have gotten a clean version of this truck as well because although it looks quite clean uh of course it is a race version so uh you never know what's gonna happen. And the problem with race versions is that you usually get a bunch of mistakes you never see. Paint chips on the uh, rear, on the bottom of the um, splitter there. It just, it, it is a bit hard on this. The decal placement isn't the best on this truck. Like there's paint chips here that you would think are actually a part of the truck, but aren't. This, this, all that side right there. Stuff like this, see the little around the tire here. You see that's really darker. So you know that's race damage. Also, a bunch of dirt on this truck. I love when they have dirt on the truck stuff. It looks really cool. And the back end looks destroyed, and I absolutely love it. Um, here's my other uh, race version. That's the accomplished Vegas win. Uh, as you see, there's, like, absolutely nothing. I want to buy the Atlanta win because it was full of dirt. It's kind of hard to focus on this. You can see there's, like, not much issue, not many issues with that truck. I go down there. This one, you can kind of see where everything's gone. <laughs> I wish we got custom tires, though. Because I feel like that looked a lot cooler than just the standard tires. Oh, look at that. That was not a good job drilling those holes then. Look at that. Oof. And you can even see the decal for the Shelby Silverado there. Hmm. Strange. Take a look, close look at this car. There we have iRacing. 24, Silverado, Chevrolet, uh, Simpson, Sunoco, Contendency, GMS Racing. Uh, Mobile One, Gain Outdoor Truck Series, a bunch of other contingencies. Chase Elliott, Chevrolet, GMS. Don't know what that is, 23 years, I don't know. A lot of contingency sponsors again. Uh, iRacing. We've got Chevrolet, iRacing, iRacing, Silverado, RST, 24, Elliott, 24, Gander, RV, and Outdoors. Okay, that. There we go. Alright, um, yeah, what the heck is going on down here, boys? It's like it's chipped, but it's not chipped. It's a very big mess down here. It's like they put two blues on this truck. Actually, they did. They messed that up big time. Oh my god, terrible. That's a big paint chip right there as well. Paint chip. Uh, I know it's not on the back of that. I can up figure where that is. Um. Again, it's so hard to see whether or not that's actually damaged or not. Let me get some, like, render images, I think. All right, this... I don't know if that's messed up. Maybe a bit. Um, race damage looks, again, really nice on this truck. A bit more. Right there on the side skirt. Again, I feel like the shading is damaged, but I cannot confirm or deny that. Oh, I have that perfectly as well. Not even the red number on the top either. I wish they would have kept that uh, white, but uh, whatever, we'll deal with it. Truck wise, though, it's my three of the four GMS trucks I own. Uh, I haven't gotten his 24, his uh, 100 cars truck yet. There it is. And I also have the uh, Hooters, which is coming in three weeks. So, yeah, next week is the uh, Trump car, which is a bit of an uh, interesting review I have to do. But, uh, yeah, moving that aside. I don't know. You should pick this up. Um, get this right. 
I personally feel like if you bought um, the Hedrick Auto Guard or the uh, not Auto Guard, uh, whatever it's called, Hedrick Cars or the Hooters, maybe don't pick this up. Definitely don't pick up both versions of this truck. That's just a total big waste of money. I feel like it was just another way for the LA fans to get the truck if they wanted it. But they had to like disguise it as a new way of buying it. Or so people would buy it even again. It was a big letdown nonetheless, and I'm kind of disappointed they did that. Um, but I guess we have to deal with repercussions now, right? Aren't that, don't we? It's kind of weird. I don't know what that is. Hold on. It's not any other checks. I think that's also part of the race version. It has like the uh, clips from the um, window, front windshield. I'm trying to see if any of my other 2020s have that, especially the Chevys. Maybe the Bush has it. Kind of sort of see. I don't think so. Yeah, when I first looked at this truck for some reason in the box, I was like, man, this thing doesn't have like, any damn gel. I was very much wrong, but uh, yeah. Not much else really with this truck. Um, again, I think Chase ran like three races and got all three of his trucks produced because, well, I know it's Chase Lovers. You made a fan of tradition truck car that looks terrible. Sorry, it does. There we go. All right. Uh, yeah, nothing much else. Uh, they also made an authentic version of this. Uh, nothing really changed up. Of course, we don't have the, uh, I don't think we have the window net. Or not window net. We don't have the, uh, name bars on the shield, windshields. And, of course, it's a gray interior. I personally have the black interior, more realistic. And, uh, yeah, I don't think there's much else. Oh, actually, nice job on the, uh, rear end holders. Truck bed looks nice as well. For some reason, I always thought those were poppies. Actually, I don't know if they are or not. I'm not, I don't, I don't really know. Uh, again, I could say this is a Lassard truck, but it's Ryan Reed now because Lassard's uh, sponsorship fell through, which sucks because it's, it's not a bad driver at all. Anyways, this is my other Elliott car. I actually have a couple of Elliott's in here. Uh, this is an Elliott as well. The Elliott collection is growing in my house. So a couple more there. I don't think I have any more Elliott's here. I bought my other house. But, uh, yeah, if you're an Elliott fan, why not? Might as well pick it up. Uh, I don't know where it's available anymore, though. It's, uh, I feel like it's still available on Can Racing. And like, most of the stores actually have one of these two versions. Don't really care which version you should probably get because they're exactly the same. If you want a real version, might as well get this. But if you have the choice, if you don't have the choice, just pick it up. And with that, I think that's all. So, okay, enjoy. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe so you never miss another video. I don't know what other videos I'm going to do this week. New Year's Die Cat or Stop Motion Reaction. Um, also thinking about. Reviewing this truck again. This one. That's actually exactly right to the last time. There we go. Perfect. Uh, because I did a review on this. It was kind of bad, so I just deleted it. So I might want to redo it. Get some actual content out. I don't think people really reviewed some of these. Uh, I have like a loose end on my tripod now, and it's so annoying because it won't hold up. Alright, so I'm going to just move that aside. I have that truck I could review, and then there's a couple others I mentioned in the uh, last video. There's this one, the Dale Jr. 2010. I don't think this is a race version. I think it's just the clean version. So that's from the Daytona race in 2010, I think. And then I think it's like this one. And then I also have the Dale Jr. National Guard uh, color chrome, I'm pretty sure. But I don't have a wing on it, because when I first got this, it broke. Because I got this from someone else. So it actually makes me feel good that I wasn't one to cause that. And then I have a Junior 500 win, or Earnhardt Senior 500 win, so that's all. Okay, I don't, uh, enjoy, see y'all later, peace out.